RC. Hey everybody and welcome to another one of my E3 trailer reaction videos for E3 2018 here on GGRC. I'm RC and we're going to be taking a look at a game called Sable. Now I saw this earlier today during the PC gaming show that they do every year. I guess they've been doing it the past four years. I know that because they mentioned it quite a few times during the show. <laughs> uh, they kept saying like, yeah, great to be here for the fourth year. We've been doing this four years. It, they just kept mentioning, I thought it was a little silly. But regardless, this is one of the games that stood out for me during the show and I hadn't heard of it before, um, but it was really interesting to me. It sort of has a um, desert exploration type of feel to it, um, but it's uh, with the uh, aesthetic of a, uh, I guess you'd say like a, a comic book in some ways. Uh, the guys on stage actually said actually said that they were inspired by, uh, I think they said French and Belgium comics, but also with like Studio Ghibli type of style as well. I don't know. You'll see it in the trailer here in a second here. But it's a very unique look for a game. And the game itself, I'm getting very strong eco vibes from, at least from the way it looks and the way it's presented and everything. But I don't know. Let's take a look. So you can see here, it's got this very, you know, thin line thing going on with lots of colors. It's very much like oranges and pinks and that kind of stuff. It doesn't venture too far away from those hues. But you can tell it's it's got a really cool look to it. You know, it's, it's kind of like, a, I guess another game that it reminds me of is Journey from uh, PS3. Um, obviously, it you know, Journey, I, I think the biggest relation they have is that they take place in the desert with a lot of sand and everything, but the games look you know, totally different in exploration and everything like that, but it does remind me of that a little bit. But yeah, I think it's a very beautiful aesthetic. I think it's a very beautiful and cool looking game. You can see here, going to temples and everything though, this definitely has like an eco feel to it, you know, a sort of a Shadow of the Colossus uh, type, uh, uh, I guess, uh, scope, you know, with the size of the game and everything like that. I don't see any bosses or anything just yet. But it definitely feels like that ilk, you know what I mean? So that's the trailer for Sable. When I saw that earlier, I was very intrigued by it. I love the art style. I really want to find out more about what the gameplay is actually like. Like I said, I think it's going to be very eco because it's it's very lonely. Eco is a very lonely game, and that's what this feels like. It feels like a more colorful version of that. Um, the... You know, the, the best thing about Eco was like solving the puzzles and getting through the castles and everything like that, which it looks like that's what's going on here. So I don't know if this is just really early footage and perhaps there just isn't going to be, uh, maybe there just isn't going to be a lot of enemies or any enemies at all. I'm, I'm not really sure. This might be, you know, more in the ilk of uh, Rhyme, which was a, a game that came out last year. You know, Rhyme is a very e exploratory platformer that we mentioned a couple times during these trailer reactions here. Uh, but it might be more of that ilk. It might just be more of an exploratory game and there might not be any enemies. Or there might be, you know, a few bosses here and there. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. But I can definitely say that I'm interested in seeing more about Sable. Well, there you go, everybody. That's another one of my trailer reactions for E3 2018 here on GGRC. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my trailer reactions. And hey, GG, everyone. I'll see you all next time. GGRC.